And this morning, a college freshman says he has an answer. The teenage inventor says he's developed a smart gun. In theory, the technology could save lives, but the firearms industry has not embraced this idea. Tony DeCopel went to Colorado for a demonstration of the student's invention. And he's now inside a gun shop in Mount Vernon, New York. Tony, good morning. Good morning. You know, in gun shops like this one, every firearm sold comes with a locking device like this. And gun rights supporters say that these devices should be credited for keeping accidental gunshot deaths at historic lows. And yet, every single day in America, on average, someone dies from an accidental gun wound. And about once a week, that victim is a child. Now, a 19-year-old says he has a solution. The very first gun that locks and unlocks like a smartphone. When Kai Klepfer points this 40 caliber handgun, it fires like any other weapon. But watch what happens when I give it a try. That clicking sound could signal a revolution in gun safety. The first firearm with the same built-in security as many smartphones. This is the fingerprint sensor. If the gun is picked up by an authorized user, this sensor recognizes the fingerprint and... It'll fire. It'll fire. Klepfer thinks he has the technology to make them a reality. I think this could be huge. I think it could really be the future of firearms. He's the founder of BioFire, a startup still headquartered in his parents' house in Boulder, Colorado. Now a freshman at MIT, Klepfer started work on his gun as part of a science project when he was 15 years old. There'd be days where I'd sit down and I'd look up 14 hours later. I hadn't moved from the spot. I hadn't thought about anything else. He realized he couldn't stop mass shootings, but he thought he could still save lives. After all, in one year alone, nearly 600 people died in firearm accidents. There were thousands more suicides, many committed with guns that do not belong to the victim. Why did it take four and a half years to put a fingerprint reader on the side of a gun? <laughs> well, it's, it's not as simple of a process as you might imagine. It's not really something anybody's ever done before. Klepfer's weapon doesn't only lock like a smartphone, it charges like one. It's about yeah. as simple as it gets. And the invention has won him some deep-pocketed allies. And Kai is the Mark Zuckerberg of guns. Ron Conway was an early investor in Google and Facebook. Now, he's putting his money behind Klepfer's smart gun. What Kai has done is used all of the latest technology available to us to innovate a truly authenticated gun. You couldn't do this five years ago. But a push for similar guns misfired memorably in the late 1990s. A Colt prototype failed in a major demonstration, and Smith & Wesson dropped its smart gun program after resulting boycotts nearly bankrupted the company. What has changed from then until now to make it possible to make a smart gun like the one you're working on? I would argue pretty much everything. Well, almost everything. Good intentions don't necessarily make good inventions. Steven Sinetti is president of the National Shooting Sports Foundation, the main trade group for companies that make and sell guns. He expressed concern about the reliability of any firearm that depends on battery power. The firearm has to work, and a firearm is not the same as a cell phone. The consequences of a cell phone not working are inconvenience. The consequences of a firearm not working could be someone's life. How reliable is the gun? It's relatively reliable. Um, I know like when I'm using it, when I'm testing it, it functions almost every single time. Uh-oh. But not every time as we saw firsthand when Klepfer's prototype, a modified Glock 22, failed. It's red. That's hot. That'll shoot. He shorted it. <laughs> Still, he thinks an ultra-fast and reliable final weapon isn't far off. I'm now to the point where I'm able to you know, start raising money, building a team, sort of really transition this to a real company, a real startup, instead of just you know, a kid in his garage working on a science fair project. One of the big questions is whether traditional gun owners would ever consider buying a smart gun. The big gun lobbies say most would not, but a poll published last year in the American Journal of Public Health found that nearly 60 percent of people, if they bought a new handgun, would at least consider buying a smart gun. Nora. All right, Tony, thank you. It's always Five great to see inventors. Yeah. Yes, yes. I think, you know, clearly there's still more work to be done, but just the fact that he's working on it. And on the other side has raised some good points, too. Right. So we shall see. To be continued. With the passion of a young That's right. Inventor. Go Kai Kleffer. Good Brilliant. job.